the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 172, Hosea 5-9 Hosea's proclamation, the three-step punishment to the people who worshipped idols and sacrificed to God for show, God said that he desired love rather than sacrifice. First point, Hosea claimed that because the lawyers and the nobles of North Israel had no knowledge about God, this would lead to their downfall. Hosea continued on with his summons to deliver God's message. Hosea shouted to the priests and the nobles to listen, realize, and also to pay attention. He criticized them for not knowing God and for their sins because of their lack of knowledge about God. The nobles and priests provided the initial reason for the collapse of North Israel that was to come. They led the people in adulterous and evil ways. Therefore, Hosea claimed that they would fall because of their arrogance, and furthermore claimed that South Judah, who followed in their ways, would also fall. To North Israel, Hosea claimed, sound the trumpet in Gibeah, the horn in Rama, raise the battle cry in Beth Aben, read on Benjamin. Hosea mentioned Gibeah, Rama, and Beth Aben, who were also following in the ways of those Israel, and that God would punish them also. These cities were all a part of South Judah, and this was God's warning to them. Hosea claimed that judgment on North Israel and South Judah would start. North Israel and South Judah had not relied on God, but on Assyria and Egypt, and they were to be judged for this. Hosea mentioned the fall of South Judah, captivity in Babylon, and also the return of the captives all together. Second point, Hosea predicted with the people to learn about God. Although North Israel and South Judah could not escape their punishment, God nevertheless proclaimed how Israel was to be restored in the future. Amos, Hosea, and all the other prophets during this time collectively told the people to return to God. Hosea would not have known God immediately when he was born. But Hosea obeyed in God and even married an adulterous woman, which made him relate to God's heart in loving those Israel. Hosea's sermon continued. God told through Hosea that those Israel and South Judah had no love towards God. In wanting his people to follow in the ways of a kingdom of priests, God said, For I desire mercy, not sacrifice an acknowledgement of God rather than burnt offerings. Third point, Hosea criticized the internal and external forces of North Israel. North Israel's internal fail was exposed when God tried to heal them. North Israel lied, stole, took bribery, and was full of evil. In other words, the people lived as if there was no law. Their hearts were so evil that they were prepared to commit evil at any time. North Israel saw a series of coup d'etat. God also rebuked the external forces of North Israel. Even when the people saw hardship, they did not turn to God. All they did was to rely on stronger countries. They relied more on Assyria than they did on God. Thus, they were unable to escape God's judgment. Fourth point. To North Israel, who followed in the way of Jeroboam for the past 200 years, Hosea proclaimed that even if they relied on other strong countries, they had no way out. Finally, the fall of North Israel was proclaimed. The main reason was because they had followed in the way of Jeroboam 
for the past 200 years. No matter how much they relied on powerful countries, nothing could save them now. Up until now, they did not offer a proper offering to God once. God emphasized this again through the prophet Isaiah. And as God said earlier, he proclaimed that South Judah would also fall after North Israel. This punishment was according to God's words on Mount Ebal. Fifth point, Hosea proclaimed that North Israel would be taken as captive according to the laws in the kingdom of priests. Through Hosea, God rebuked the people for returning his blessings with idol worship and idolatry. God explained the punishment they would receive for the evil. God furthermore rebuked the prophet who just stood there instead of telling the people that the end was coming. God explained the wickedness behind their idol worship. God told them how they did not appreciate or acknowledge God's great love and blessing. Now God proclaimed through Hosea that they would be taken as captives for their punishment. This was the third stage of punishment warned by God earlier in Leviticus. I will scatter you among the nations and will draw out my swords and pursue you. Your land will be laid waste and your cities will lie in ruin. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyango Zo has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zo is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.